Hello everyone, it's Pamela Gomez with O Natural Aromatherapy here in Nassau, Bahamas. Today I welcome you to the O Natural Aromatherapy Introduction to Aromatherapy webinar, the first in a series to come. I would like to say a special welcome to all of you. I see we have eight persons online and there are 12 persons registered, so I'll give a few others a couple of minutes just to get here. Can you tell me in your chat groups if you can hear me? If in your chat, if you can hear me, just type yes or no. Okay, I see one person is having a sound issue. If you're having a sound issue, you can try calling in by the telephone. That may work. Okay, it's been corrected. All right. Great. Fabulous. Fabulous. Can you tell me where some of you are from or where you're from? I see I got Janet on there. Keyshell. Okay, where are you guys from? Those I don't know. Okay, we've got who's that Williamson Chevette, yes, and we got Katrina and Kim, Stefan, okay, Emmy Robinson, we get Aquino, Roll, and Christy Rutherford. Okay, welcome, welcome all, welcome. We've got Nassau in the house, we got Fort Lauderdale in the house. Okay, welcome. Good to have you all here with us. Okay, with that being said, we're going to get started. I hope everyone is hearing me okay. It seems on my end, it's okay. I want to take a moment just to tell you a, a bit about um, what we're going to cover today. Um, I'm going to tell you a bit about myself, first of all, and then the company, we're going to talk about, um, we're going to talk about aromatherapy, history of aromatherapy, we're going to talk about essential oils, uses of essential oils, and I'm going to give you five recipes, well, four actually, and then the fifth one is going to be open to you to share with me. We're going to talk about some of my clients. I'm going to share with you some of my clients who've been using the products that I sell. And then lastly, I'm going to make an offer. And hopefully some of you will take that offer and um, build your collections, your private collections. Okay. A bit about me. I told you... <laughs> Earlier, my name is Pamela S. Gomez, S. Stan Stephanie. I am the CEO of O Natural Aromatherapy. I'm also a freelance writer and blogger. Recently started blogging and I'm enjoying it. I have an Associate of Arts degree in Management from the College of the Bahamas, a Bachelor of Science degree in Business from St. Xavier University in Chicago, Illinois, and currently I'm enrolled at Aroma Head Institute studying for my aromatherapy certification and I'm moving right along with that. The articles that I have been that I've written that have been published have been written for Girl Talk magazine in 2013. That's a magazine, a local magazine, an online magazine by Arsenet Kinder. There's two articles that I've done for Up and Away in Flight Magazine. I did those in 2013 and 2014. And most recent writings that I've done has been for the O Natural Aromatherapy blog and website. I don't know if any of you have seen them, if you've flown on Bahamas Air or in some local government offices, the, the magazines are there. The company O Natural Aromatherapy was my brainchild. I founded it in 2007, somewhat by accident, but it was officially launched in 2010 at the Little Pink Party. The aim of the company is to promote health, wellness, and relaxation 
I like to say relax, revive, and rejuvenate my clients. Our product line includes essential oils, custom essential oil blends, bath and beauty products. My first clients were my friends and family. No kidding. I have a memorable moment back in 2007 where a cousin of mine who happens to be a pilot came by for a Sunday dinner or something of that nature. It was a family gathering. I had cooked and we were sitting and eating and he just didn't look well. So I asked, what's wrong? Why are you not your normal self? And he said he has a terrible headache. So I said, okay, go take a nap in my room. Have a lay down for a bit. The air is on. So he took the opportunity to go and lay down for a minute. I didn't tell him a thing that I had in my room. Came back in about 30 minutes and said, boy, that was a nice little nap. My headache's gone. What do you have in that room? And I said, well, I have a diffuser on with a bit of eucalyptus and peppermint essential oil. Did it make a difference? And he said, yes, it did. My headache's gone. Oh my, what did you do to me, Pam? He said, I got to get some of that because I'm not taking pills anymore. That was the first customer. He's been using it ever since. And he's been a happy customer. <laughs> the two brands that the company carry, we're now distributors for those, sole distributors for those in the Bahamas. The first brand is Tisserand Aromatherapy, and the second is Natural Patches of Vermont. The Tisserand brand has a top 10 set of essential oils that I use here, and um, they consist of chamomile, eucalyptus, peppermint, tea tree, bergamot, patchouli, orange, lime, grapefruit. And there's one other that escapes me right now, but um, I mentioned them later on as well. The patches come in various formulas. Those shown are aches and pains, mental focus and energy, um, cough and cold formula. There's a PMS formula and a relaxing sleep formula, the pink one in the middle. Purple, sorry, in the middle. That is the relaxing sleep formula. It's a pretty good seller here in Nassau. This is my new banner that's coming out this next month. I should have it at a trade show. So if you see this banner anywhere in Nassau, please be sure to stop by the table and say hello to us. Okay. The history of aromatherapy. Aromatherapy has been around since ancient times. Origin attributed to ancient Chinese, ancient Egyptians, and Indians. The Chinese and the Indians text tells talks about the therapeutic and philosophical and spiritual properties of aromatics. The Egyptians used the aromatics in all areas of life, from seduction to embalming. The French chemist and perfumer Rene Maurice Gotos. Fossi, but a fossi, coined the term, term <laughs> aromatherapy in, 20, in 1928. I remember that so clearly. Um, if questioned about it, I'll remember that year because my mom was born in 29. He discovered aromatherapy strictly by accident. He burned his hand one day while working and quickly rubbed some lavender oil on his hand. Then it was Eureka. The burn cooled, healed well, and there was no scarring. Lavender is known for that, to prevent scarring on your hands. And um, heals burns quickly, so you don't have that issue. Essential oils are mentioned in the Bible and has been known to be used for 
aromatic fumigations and during religious ceremonies in some churches such as the Catholic and Anglican churches here in the Bahamas and other parts of the world. I was going to give you guys a quiz, <laughs> but circumstances did not allow me to do that. So I just wrote here two of the most popular oils mentioned in the Bible, frankincense and myrrh. And you'd remember the story with the wise men bringing gifts to Jesus. And um, that was two of the oils that they mentioned. So, you know, we're all familiar with some sort of essential oil, whether directly or indirectly. Um, now we're going to go into the part where we discuss the essential oils themselves. So, I'll start by telling you how the oil is extracted. There are four methods four distinct methods of this extracting oils from the plants. Oils are extracted usually by distillation. That's the most common method, but there are others. And it's it the oil are taken from oils are taken from flowers, the leaves, the bark of the tree, or the roots of aromatic plants. Essential oils are potent, meaning they're very, very strong. Oh my goodness. I can tell you a story of a girl who used some um, chamomile in a bath one time. She put the chamomile more than the prescribed two or three drops into a bath of warm water. And she was preparing this for a child. The Luckily, the child was not in the room when this was done. And the mom went out of the bathroom to go get the child after setting the bath. And she attempted to walk back into the bathroom, but the fumes were so strong, they met her at the door. So she had to put the child back, let some of that water out of the tub, put more water into the, the tub, and, um, you know, reduce the strength of that oil. Eventually, she realized what she had done and got it right, treated the child for eczema. The child had a really bad eczema and she was using chamomile to treat the eczema in the bath for the child. I was happy that when she told me that she didn't put the child in the tub because that would have been a disaster. Um, it's always good to listen to the practitioner or the aromatherapist when they give you instructions on how to use the oils. Like I said, they are very, very strong. They're not like the ones you buy on the side of the street. Oh no, they're totally different. Essential oils are also volatile. They evaporate, so you have to keep them in a cool, dry place. Um, Oils left in the heat will evaporate. You'd notice the bottle getting lower and lower and you're not using it if you just leave it in a hot room. Only pure essential oils offer therapeutic properties, not synthetic oils. Pure essential oils, organic oils are harvested for that purpose for healing, health, wellness purpose. The other oils that are synthetic are mainly done for perfumery and um, cosmetics and beauty care, pro some beauty care products, but those are not suited to be used for therapeutic pro um, purposes. I am not a supporter of ingesting essential oils. My mentor and um, coach that I follow, Dr. Robert Tisseran, uh, he's the, what should I call him? He's the person that, um, it's like a scientist that studied essential oils for years. He's written several books on the uses. He's not a proponent of ingesting essential oils. Now I remember as a young person 
we used to use essence of peppermint, but essence of peppermint is no way near the essential oil. Peppermint is such essential oil. Essence of peppermint seems to be a weaker form, and we never like to drink it right down because it was very strong. We used to put it with water and let it cool, and in some cases, I used to cheat. I used to add a little sugar to my essence of peppermint when you were not well as a young child. Um, that's just one of the tricks we did as a kid. So the other thing I would say today about essential oils is that never put them directly on your skin. They are very strong and they can irritate the skin. So I always support, um, advise persons to mix them with base oils. And base oils are anything such as a coconut or a jojoba oil or a what else? Coconut jojoba almond oil. I like those three. I like almond. I like jojoba. Grapeseed oil is another good one, but each oil has a different characteristic. It's thickness or it, it they the way they flow or the color. Some have a slight smell. Coconut has a heavy smell. So they have different properties. And you just have to select the one for you and for the purpose that you're using. If someone is blending for them for you, you can doing a custom blend, you could tell them how to blend it for you. Okay. Now, traditional methods of extraction. <clears throat> Remember I mentioned four? Well, here's four that um, I'm going to share with you. Oil infusion. It's by adding fat. It's the oldest method of extraction. So you're, you're blending. It's an infusion of, of fats into this oil. B is influrage, influrage. And that is when they take the flowers, the fresh flowers, and place them on an oil soaked floor or lard until they sort of dissipate. Then you put another layer until it reaches the concentration that you want. As you keep putting them layers on, they keep breaking down, breaking down after time. And C would be the coal expression. And the oil is removed by scrubbing. This is mainly done with citrus fruits like lemon, orange, tangerine, lime, lemon, and so forth. Distillation, and that's by steam. Oh, I meant to get a, a depiction of it being done, but that'll be for another time. But yes, steam distillation. It's a little setup where the oil is extracted by heat and steam, and it's separated. All right. The top 10 oils I mentioned earlier would have been bergamot, eucalyptus, grapefruit, lemon, orange, patchouli, peppermint, rosemary, tea tree, and I missed lavender. Lavender would have been the 10th one. That the therapeutic effects of essential oils. Oil, these are characteristics. They all have the essential oils have all have therapeutic effects, meaning they are used in therapy, they are used for healing. They're all aromatic, they have a scent, they give off a scent, a smell. Some are heavy, some are light, some are fruity, some are woody, woodsy. They're potent, they're all potent, meaning they're very, very strong. They're volatile, meaning they evaporate very quickly. And for introduction to aromatherapy purposes, we use the 10 top essential oils. And I know there was a reason why I left off 
one from that page, but I'll show you in a moment. Aromatherapy uses for healing the mind, body, and spirit. There are ways that it's done through inhalation, diffusing, topically in massage, massages, or in a bath. Yes, those are four ways you can use it. Inhalation, diffusing, topically rubbed on your skin in a massage or in your bar. Four ways, four methods. Two of them are depicted here. And this picture of inhalation shows the olfactory bulb in the head. When you inhale, the scent, the molecules are inhaled and it affects the olfactory bulb and the lymphatic system of the brain. So essential oils have a direct effect. They go straight to the brain. It changes you. They can change your mood. They can change your feeling, um, relieve pain. And it's done automatic, I mean, instantaneously, faster than taking a pill. Diffusing. In the picture, it shows a ceramic diffuser with a tea light candle. I like these, but I, I don't like using them when kids are around. Um, kids tend to want to be inquisitive and want to touch. So if I use them, I use them when they're placed high above the reach of a child or I put them in my room before I go to bed so that um, by the time I'm ready to go to bed, I can turn it off and it still has that same effect in the room. They work wonderfully after a stressful day and you, trust me, you will notice the difference. They, they really do work. Rosemary essential oil. I love rosemary because of its characteristics. It increases circulation. Popular choice for muscle relief, pain relief and aromatherapy blends. The adrenal glands are also stimulated by the use of rosemary essential oils. Rosemary is uplifting. It's very uplifting. It's energizing and it enhances the memory. Thus, it, it is the choice of students and business persons. The photos depict an event in which I used rosemary in the room that we were meeting in. The photos are of the outside sessions where we had discussions and interactions and we played um, games so much to to get persons talking, icebreakers, so to speak. But we eventually went into a room that I had um, set up and had prepared with two or three diffusers with rosemary essential oil. So as to create the atmosphere, when we went in there, everybody was alert, energized, mentally focused, ready to go and feeling very uplifted and that sort of mood kept the flow throughout the evening. Lavender. This was the oil that I left off the presentation earlier. I wanted to share with you about lavender in detail. Lavender soothes burns that we know. It relieves inflammation. It relieves sunburns and sores. It's Used for muscle aches and pains and muscle strains. It alleviates nervous conditions, tension, headaches, stress, and insomnia. And oh boy, I love, 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 love lavender. Um, lavender is used in several ways, but I particularly like a lavender bar after a long day of work. Trust me, it's so relaxing. You sleep like you're on air. 
And the photo is of a lavender field in France. And I have this dream of visiting this lavender field and running through this field. Imagine the smell. Oh, my goodness. All right. We're going to be talking about eucalyptus essential oils. And like lavender, it has a similarity. It soothes, burns, cuts, and insect bites. Minor skin infections. It relieves congestion, eases bronchitis, coughs, asthma, throat infections, and muscle aches. Arthritic discomfort. Eucalyptus is very, very popular. It's a very popular essential oil. Persons often um, ask for it during cold and flu season here in the Bahamas and abroad. Ylang Ylang essential oil. It's an antidepressant. It's an antiseptic. It's an aphrodisiac. It's good for high blood pressure. It's a sedative. <laughs> this oil I smile because I remember at my launch at the little pink party i sold out of it mainly because the fellas came up they saw it was an aphrodisiac and they had ideas of um well there was a, a display i had that said that it made for a good romantic evening and the fellas came up and they bought it all out so i was sold out of lying and lying on the first launch party but um it is a flower it has a somewhat flower, flower scent, flower scent, floral scent. All right, I promise to share with you five recipes, and here we go. Number one is for insomnia. Could you imagine those nights sitting up in bed, remote in your hand, and your eyes won't close? I know my hand is up. I've had those, <laughs> and um, I found that if I took a bath with a blend, chamomile, neroli, frankincense, I'm fine, I could sleep. The thing about these oils when you're using them in the bar, you must add a cup of milk, at least a cup of milk, and I say at least, um, to the bath water. And the water should be warm water. It is just so relaxing. And the reason for the milk is that oil and water do not mix. The milk would help it to dissolve properly and use properly. We, My recipe number two is an inhalation recipe for insomnia. You can put a few drops, three or four drops of lavender on a cotton ball and place it in your pillowcase and sleep on the, that side where the, the cotton ball is so that you can smell it while you sleep. I see I have a question or two coming in. And one is, how often do you change the cotton ball? The cotton ball, well, you know the oil evaporates. Um, I would say give it maybe a Two, two, possibly two days. You can leave it there, two or three days. See how it, how strong it is. If you don't smell it, you could put another drop on it for the next night. That should help. Um, there isn't a a specific time frame that you should have it in your pillow, but um. I would do one to two nights before I add another drop. The other thing I'd like to talk to you about is ADHD. Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, ADHD, is a relatively common condition of children of, of childhood onset um, in children and is of significant public health concern. This recipe consists of two oils, cedar wood and vivitar, and it's inhaled and you can either, you have a choice, you can 
put it on a cotton ball and pin it inside the child's clothing or a handkerchief or a piece of cloth and put it in their pocket so that they can smell it all day. Or you can mix it in a plain lotion or cream and put it on their body. But again, make sure it mix well with a base oil, almond, jojoba, um, or plain cream and apply it to the skin as a lotion. This allows the child to function properly at school. It creates mental focus during the school hours. And um, I tell you a story. I had a parent approach me at an event one time and she said, who do you have with children with ADHD? And I said, well, you know, I don't know. I have to go and check. Um, that's something I hadn't studied yet because, you know, I'm new at this. So I came back, I called her, and I said, okay, I got cedar wood. You can try that. She said, okay. She tried it. It worked a bit. And um, she never called me back. Well, a few months passed, and I ran into another parent with a similar situation, and she had already been using essential oils, and she was looking to refill her essential oils. So she said to me, do you have any... Do you have any uh, Vivitar? And I said, no. She said, oh, I need that. She said, what about cedar wood? And I said, yes, I have cedar wood. She says, well, I'm out of both. I need Vivitar and Vetiva, Vetiva and cedar wood. She said, I use it for ADHD. I said, Eureka. <laughs> okay. I went and I searched and they said, two drops of cedar wood, two drops of Vivitar. Two drops each into a lotion or a base oil and apply it to the child as a lotion. And then I also read about this cotton ball or cloth and putting it in the clothing where it could smell it, where the child could smell it all day. And it keeps them mentally focused and not as um, hyper. And um, I said, Eureka! <laughs> so I got it for the lady, and she's been a happy client ever since. Okay, muscle pains. The following oils are excellent for muscle pains when combined with a base oil or an unscented cream. Remember, always combine. Never use these oils straight. And they are black pepper, camphor, nutmeg, rosemary, chamomile, and sweet thyme. Okay, now I'm going to share with you a personal, personal um, story where I was affected by sciatic nerve pain and I could not find a relief. I was looking for days for something um, with, with the thought in mind that I was not going to take what the doctor has prescribed because of fear. Well, the recipe consists of two drops of rosemary, two drops of basil, and two drops of peppermint. And you would think each of them cancel out each other, but they don't because each of them have a different strength and a different property, and they just work well together. I combine two ounces of almond oil and one ounce of coconut oil, and I created a massage blend to massage the area where the pain was. This also worked for my sciatic nerve pain. That was for a muscle pain, a muscle pain massage. But I used it for my sciatic nerve pain. And this pain came on sudden and it ran down my leg from the middle of my back to my toes. Trust me, this has been personally tested and proven. And the photograph shows you where the pain runs and I kid you not, just as you see that red line running down your feet to your toes, that's how the pain was. I went to the doctor at the hospital, exactly, because it was so severe, and they gave me a shot. I could not walk on my own strength. Then it it didn't stop. It just kept me drowsy, and every time I woke up, the pain was there. So I went back to the doctor and they prescribed me Lyrica and I freaked when I read about side effects and what could possibly 
being caused. The label and the television commercial said, um, use with caution could possibly cause strokes, heart attack, and other, 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 other problems. So here I go. Why am I taking this money and wasting it? Because I'm not taking this Lyrica. I spent over $90 on medicines, and they're still in the medicine cabinet. I ended up walking to my oil cabinet, where I keep my oils, and I made a mixture, this mixture. I was in such pain, I didn't even bother to check to see what type of um, glass, what color the, the container was I was putting it in. I mixed it on all in a clear white container, <laughs> quickly put the cover on and I started massaging myself with this massage oil that was for pain relief. I found relief. I was somewhat amazed but happy. Um, the pain subsided. I was able to move more freely than I did before. And I attribute my relief to my essential oil mixtures, my blends. Here's the opportunity for you to get involved and tell me which problem you'd like for me to share a recipe for. I see sinus. I see, what are you typing? Sinus, sinus, two sinuses, and then I see back pain and shoulder pain. And where do we have here again? Zelitka? What is that? I'm trying to figure out this name. Give a recipe for someone who. For persons who are intolerant to gluten, okay, and lavender or pain and sleep, okay, and the person is asking me about something called celiac disease, okay, I have to go and research this one. Celac, celac, celac disease. That one I'd have to get back to you on, but for now, let's talk about sinusitis. A common problem in the Bahamas, sinusitis. That I have had to treat, and believe it or not, it's quite common. It's the same pain reliever that I use for a headache, sinus pain, congestion. I run two. Peppermint and eucalyptus. So I would use about three drops of eucalyptus to two drops of peppermint. I would put them in a diffuser and let it with some water, about two tablespoons of water, and let that burn in a room, have the person sit in that room, and relax for an hour, half an hour, hour half, half an hour to an hour, and you should find some sort of relief. It really does work. It really, really does work. Okay, that's my viewer's choice. Now, these oils are beautiful, but there are warnings and cautions that you must take when using them. It is not recommended to use these oils at full strength. Never. Always use them with a base oil. In rare cases, and I do say rare cases, you can use them um, straight. I do not recommend ingesting essential oils for fear of a reaction that we are not familiar with. And I do not recommend that they be used directly on the skin because of their potency they are very strong exercise caution when using essential oils on children pregnant women and the elderly 
always use caution. Essential oils are highly volatile, so they evaporate. So they should be stored in a dark glass bottle in a cool place. Use pure essential oils correctly and they are wonderful. They are. Here I'm about to share with you some of our clients we've had over the years. We had the privilege of having a booth at the Holy Cross Anglican Church Fair where we had a massage booth. Andrea Pinder was the massage therapist and she performs outdoor massages on our clients. Here she's performing an outdoor massage on Andre Rollins, a member of parliament who I know works under a lot of stress. So he enjoyed a 15 minute massage with Andrea at the booth and um, well you'll see his expression. And you tell me, what do you think? Was he a happy customer? <laughs> there you go. That's a happy customer to me. I don't know with you. And then we have here another employee. I think she's a, I can't remember her name. But, yeah, she was there. Her name is, I think she's a Coakley. Coakley, she enjoyed another 15 minute massage after a stressful day. They all came away with smiles on their faces. Andrea does um, on call services, so if you need a masseuse, you can call us or visit our website and say that you need a masseuse to visit you. This is the Busy to Balance event held in 2014. Busy to Balance Love Yourself Edition, and there were lots and lots of nice boots there. We had the privilege of having one where we did um, steam inhalation treatments for persons who were congested or had headaches and wanted to experience essential oils. So we did a little um, demo at the table. We also had displays of our products, the patches, and also the oils. A few customers, I we stopped by to do a photo op, and they all left feeling pretty happy that day. And we were happy to have them visit us because they purchased our products, <laughs> and that made our day. Here I am at the table talking to another client. In the middle of two clients who were doing steam inhalation treatment. All it was was we put some hot water in a bowl. We gave each of them a drop of essential oil and they were to breathe in the steam for a minute with their head covered um, by a towel. Because we were out in the open air, we had to use a method to enclose it. And it was lovely. Um, I did give them the caution sign that um, if for any reason their eyes started to get watery, that meant they were there too long um, and the the oil was too strong. But I made it weak so that um, they wouldn't experience any discomfort. Um, some of them loved, 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 loved the scent. And wanted to do it again. Um, it was a lovely day and we had lots of customers stop by. Here I have photos with me and Pamela S. Gomez with Tina C. Hines of a life transformation specialist. Tina and I met here in the Bahamas about two years ago. And she had a beach retreat in which it was a women's um, love yourself care, um, yourself retreat. And it was very, very nice and well attended. And from that day to this, a friendship has been born. So now she's like a mentor, coach, um, spiritual advisor. She's an all-around super person. To the left, I have two clients. Colin Mae Ferguson and Lady Naomi Wallace Whitfield, both of whom have sinus congestion. 
from time to time, and they are both clients who use lavender, or sorry, they use that peppermint and eucalyptus mixture that I've spoken about. To the right are two of my good buddies, Shakira and Kishel Davis. I've had the opportunity to attend a number of Kishel's functions and participate as well as sent her rooms for the function to create an atmosphere of energy, um, a mental focus and alertness, and it has worked. Um, we've gotten recognition for doing just that, and we appreciate the opportunity to have been of service to Keyshell in the past, and we hope that we can do that again in the future. It's always nice. And here is that group of people that worked in that room at the Make It Real function hosted by Keyshell Davis. Can you tell these girls were happy, full of energy, and this was at the end of the event. We all came together for a photo, and yes, there was more happy clients. They were just, I mean... Bubbly, ready, full of fun and life, ready to take on the world, mentally focused, and a happy bunch of beauties. <laughs> it was a lovely event. Oh, we had Rebecca Tippin. Yeah, Rebecca Tippin was there. She's the lady in the middle. Rebecca spoke with us and gave us a charge to... Come, go ahead and make it real. We did a lovely evening of sharing in which she shared a sand dollar that she keeps as a keepsake. She gives them away at her events. And we wrote on them our hopes and dreams and something we wanted to get rid of. It was a beautiful exercise. I loved it. I participated to the full extent of um, the evening, and I was so grateful for that opportunity. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're reaching the end of my presentation, and here for you, I have an offer. Today, only to any the first three persons who purchase three oils for sixty dollars, any of the three oils. There is a bonus package that comes with it. And you can pick from the list below or you can list your own three. But bearing in mind that each oil has a different price. So if you chose a rose oil, remember that a rose oil goes for $100 an ounce. So I can't give that to you for $60. But I promise the first three persons to act on this offer during this webinar period which would be up to midnight, the evening of the 5th of September, 2015. I will give you the three oils for $60. In Nassau, it's hard to find three oils for $60. You go into the supermarket where they sell some oils, one oil. A lavender oil is priced at $34 in Nassau. I don't know what it is in the U.S. And that's for like 32 ounces. $34. So I would give you today three oils, any three, for $60. Plus a bonus. Can you imagine what that bonus is? Well, here it is. The bonus offer for those three persons, you will also receive a 30-minute free consultation, free 30-minute private aromatherapy consultation. So in that 30 minutes, we will talk about the problem that you want to talk about, whether it's sinusitis, um, pain relief, whether it is muscle pain, um, just want to know how to scent your house better, 
or with essential oils, want to know how to use essential oils, want to learn how to make um, something, an inhaler or something with the use of essential oils, then I would grab this offer. I mean, just run with it. Don't let it get away. These oils are pretty costly and the brand is top of the line. Alright, to take this offer, here's what you would have to do. Visit my website. Visit www.onaturalaromatherapy.com. Using the contact me page, you'll see that at the top of the page in the banner, contact me. Send me the essential oil you would like to purchase today. Type the three oils. Once you do that, you'll be notified via email if you are the first or in the first three. Those persons will be given a link in order to confirm their consultation and we'll get your address and arrange payments for your oils right away. This is no joke. These oils are available today. If you're ready to take that offer, just act. I'll be right there waiting to take your order. This brings us to the end of the presentation. But I'd like to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you for attending the webinar. When we're done, you would have the opportunity to visit the website, join our mailing list, subscribe to our blog. I, blog, I try to blog at least once or twice a month about subjects that are relevant. You can even leave me a note to say what you'd like to hear about in the line of aromatherapy. You can follow us on Twitter and Periscope. My Twitter and Periscope username is OH Natural Aroma. OH NATURAL Aroma A R O M A. We're also on Facebook. You can find us at www facebook.com forward slash O Natural Aromatherapy. It has been my pleasure delivering this presentation in the form of my first webinar. It was exciting. I had some challenges in the beginning. I had to move from location to location because BC never failed in Nassau. An hour before the event, the power went out, so I had to switch location. But I'm thankful I was able to do the the event in any any event it, it happened. I especially would like to thank those who signed on from around the world. Janet Kenny, wow, Emmy Robinson, and my NASA crew. Naomi Wallace Whitfield, Chevette. Williamson, Quandra Adams from Flor from the United States, and my dear friend Keisha Davis. Oh my goodness! Thank you, Alkino Roll. Thank you. I thank you all. I appreciate you all. Have a great aromatic weekend to all of you. From Pamela Gomez at O Natural Aromatherapy, Nassau, Bahamas. I sure wish you had my view for this webinar. It was a beautiful ocean view. I, I don't know how I could share that with you, but it was a beautiful Saturday afternoon sitting on the balcony of the Caves Village just watching the birds, the waves, the palm trees. It just made this event even more special, sharing my Saturday and your Saturday with you. Thank you again. Please follow us, and I'll be looking out for those who 
select to go along with um, the offer. I'll be mailing those items out right away. And if you are in Nassau on September 19th, please visit us at the Commonwealth Bank Health Fair. The location I'm not exactly certain of, but I believe it may be in a mall. So stop in, say hello to us, you'll see our banner. We will be there for the full event, Commonwealth Bank Health Fair, on Saturday, September 19th, 2015. Have a great weekend, y'all. Bye for now. All the best.